Hello, my name is Tony and I'd like to welcome you to my lapidary workshop. Today I have an emerald that has suffered extreme damage. The accident sheared off a large portion of the side of the crown extending well below the girdle line. Following the original shape of the stone for a recut would result in a substantial loss in size and weight. So to preserve the most of the remaining material I decided that the crown needed to be reoriented. The stone was docked and aligned by sight to allow a new table to be cut parallel to the widest part, adjustments being made as the table was being cut to correct that alignment. A fresh charge of 600 grit diamond on a copper lap was used to do this. After cutting the table, it was pre-polished with 8,000 grit diamond on a lightning lap followed by 200,000 diamond on that same lap. The docked stone was then removed from the 45 degree adapter. The dock was heated until the wax was soft enough for the stone to align itself against a target dock in the transfer block perpendicular to the new table. This allowed the rest of the the crown to be accurately cut, also removed the last of the damaged area in the process. Cutting the new crown caused the new girdle facets to be large and wedge shaped on two of the sides and misshapen in some way or other on all but one facet. So to correct this I turned the stone over and dropped it to the table and cut some new pavilion brake facets that would produce a nice even girdle. The new brake facets did not line up in any way with any of the existing pavilion facets, but as the benefits of a perfectly cut pavilion would be lost on material of this quality, I made no attempt to correct the skewed appearance. Instead, weight and size being the only consideration, the facets were left as is and just polished. Even the finest, even the finest emeralds will contain inclusions of some kind, which provide a sufficient distraction to defeat the best efforts of any cutter. In this case, there is very little to be gained by using an efficient pavilion design, and my customer was far more interested in good recovery and a good face-up stone that he could use. Incidentally, the finished stone in this case. Uh, measured 7.75 millimeters by 8.5 millimeters and was 6.9 millimeters deep. The damaged stone as I received it was only 7.1 millimeters wide, a little longer 8.8 .8, and a little deeper 7.35. So yes, I actually made the stone a little bit bigger. Thank you very much for watching.